Hey guys, this is Giovanni. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate what it means to have a soft kiss. My friend Sam will be helping me out and we'll demonstrate what that kiss looks like. Oh my God! Before we get to the demo, we have a little bit of a discussion around the girl's perspective and what's going on really in her head when she wants to take things to the next level. Why are you gay? And if you want to watch the kissing demos between me and Sam, just skip to the five minute mark. So yeah, a lot of girls will tease. I do it a lot. I'll make out with a guy and then I'll leave because then I'll start feeling guilty when things are about to escalate. Why do you tease a guy? What's the purpose? Um, I like them, I'm having fun, and then I realize when it's about to go and I start thinking of every bad thing like STDs and... <laughs> I think there are a few reasons, right? But I think the biggest reason for women is like making a mistake. As a good salesperson or as a good as a guy who understands women, so supposedly, to address all of her possible objections before they happen. So for example, the thing I said is, would you feel guilty if you slept with me, right? pausing for a second, making sure she's comfortable. If a girl does that and she leaves, something I'll say way before, like on the first date is like, listen, I'm not, I'm like different than other guys. I, I don't judge women for sleeping with me on the first date or the second date. It's, it's her prerogative. I, I'm, it's cool with me either way. More important for me is how she thinks about hooking up with someone. What does that mean? Is it just a game of tennis or is it something where she feels very emotional and attached to it? You gotta remember women have like 10 times more oxytocin and it affects their body differently than men. Oxytocin, it's the same hormone that gets extremely into mothers when they have a newborn child okay it's the strongest bonding chemical so for her there's an emotional risk there right it feels like one of the girls explained to me it feels like rolling the dice or like you know gambling on roulette in vegas it's like there's that initial fear in terms of evolutionary biology have sex in a nine months pregnancy and now she's dependent on this guy so for them biologically it's hardwired to be a huge risk so your job is to de-risk it for her i'm a good guy i, I respect your boundaries i'm gonna take my time i'm not needy how would you feel if you feel guilty? I'll respect your timeline. So those are things you can do to actually close more often, but more important than that, just like respect her and give her a good experience. I think that if somebody was upfront with me about what they wanted right away and asked me what I wanted, like, hey, are you looking for a hookup? I'm not looking to date. I think I would be more likely to sleep with a guy that says, I'm not looking for a relationship. I just want a hookup. Then I could actually process it in my mind and think, do I want to sleep with this guy or not? So you like it if a guy just tells you, hey, I'm just here, I'm just for a hookup. I want them to be honest. Mm. I want people to be more upfront. Okay. What if they don't know? If they don't know? Yeah. I haven't decided, I haven't decided yet. I don't know. Then, yeah, usually, I think sex is only fun when you know someone and you get to know them. Because other than that, it's just like a one night stand, kind of dead fish -y. It's Like it's a waste of time. Okay. I've had a different experience, but again, that's that's hers. That's great. We respect that. I've had great one-night stands. How old are you? Uh, 38. Oh, okay. I've, I've, I've tasted every flavor of the ice cream, okay? And I've decided I like strawberry. So I don't need to... So you still like one-night stands? No, no, I'm good. I'm good. But see, yeah, you get over it eventually. I think for a girl, the, the journey, the dating journey is different. Yeah. Okay, for a guy... In my opinion, for me, not maybe you're a different type of guy. Statistically speaking, let's say of my 572 clients I've had over the last 10 years, the majority of them want to go through what we call a hero's journey. So it's like, I've experienced what's out there. I have some experience, so they don't feel like regret when they get with the one. You know, yeah. they, they know what's out there. They played around a little bit, you know, not to a crazy, like dangerous extent, but they're like, okay, I know what that feels like now. I have no regrets. Now let me pick my future wife and have, you know, my kids, etc. right? That's most guys' journey. But not every guy's like that. But for a girl's journey, it's different because girls can get laid whenever they want. Sometimes I have girlfriends who've been F, F girls and they've slept around. Some, most of my girlfriends though, honestly, their body counts, like depends what age they are, but by the time they're 30, probably 20, 30, maybe 50. 50 will probably be on the, on the larger end, depending on the girl. Um, but if you're in the club scene, it's easily hundreds. It just depends on the girl. But for them, it's not like a sexual conquest. You know, it's not hard for her to get laid 50 times. For the amount of effort it takes for her to get laid 50 times is probably 1% of it, what it would take me to get laid 50 times. She just has to go up like, do you want to And that's it, game over. I, on the other hand, had a picture of me as a dorky 23 year old nerd. I had to work on my style, improve my speaking skills, improve my nonverbals, uh, learn game, <laughs> learn how to have a date, learn how to kiss, learn how to escalate, learn how to treat a girl properly, learn how to have relationship skills. That's all the things I needed to do to actually get laid 50 times. But for her, it's like, hey, I'm a cute girl. Do you want to hook up? And I would say probably 50 out of 60 guys would probably say yes. We also have something that can expand. So if you just do it with a lot of people, then you have a bigger. Oh, I see. Not, not as tight? 
yeah. I think girls think about that too. Maybe. I mean, I think about that because I don't want a lot of people in there and then flaring out. So then when I do meet the one, it'd be like and then there's swimming a, in an ocean. There's. <laughs> for all the guys you remember kissing, what's the biggest mistake guys make? I think just really shoving their tongues in my mouth and me just not even expecting it. Like it just came out of nowhere. And I was just like thrown off and I'm like, hey, wait a minute. Also, like make sure your breath smells good. Nobody wants that. Yeah, just control your tongue and start slow and feel the, bo the girl's body language. What were some of the things you remember from the best kisses you've had in your life? Um, usually they made eye contact and it was very slow and they, were, they held me really hard with their hands and pulled me in and kind of felt this safe feeling. Your options go up like probably two or three X, okay? Girls that maybe wouldn't like you at first or they're not undecided, if you're a good kisser, they'll be like, okay, maybe I'll hang out with them some more. Girls that want to get into a relationship, but they may choose not to get in a relationship with you in the beginning if you're not a good kisser. But if you're a good kisser, you have good game, you actually can express yourself well, you listen well, all those things combined, the sum is greater than the parts, right? Then you become a guy who just like knows what's going on and everything, every step of the way you take her, she feels comfortable and like, oh, this guy knows what he's doing. There's a certain piece that comes with that. It's like, that's art. That's like artistry to me. That's what it means to give her the best experience possible. And if you can do that, you'll never feel alone. Like no matter what happens, I know that I can go out and be like, all right, if I just do these steps, I'll get a girl like Sam or whatever ideal type girl you want. It's replicable, it's predictable, and once you know what to do, it's actually quite simple. If you want more help with how to do this properly, how to kiss properly, how to get to a point where you have the option to kiss girls properly, check out this link here. There's also resources below in the description. All of them are free, and the courses are optional. Like, start with your lips. Use your lips. That's a lot hotter than using your tongue. When it gets to tongue, then you could start putting it in and touching body parts, and that's when it gets aroused. How, how, did, you, how did you learn how to, how to kiss? I think I just felt it and just went with it. In the 1970s, almost 50 years ago, Dr. Arthur Aaron did an experiment. And in that experiment, he had subjects um, face each other and basically have eye contact straight for about four minutes without saying anything. And then after those four minutes, he had 36 questions that he had them ask each other. One of the questions is, for example, uh, if you were famous, what would you want to be famous for? And then they found through that experiment that a lot of people fall in love that way, okay? Just eye contact alone and good questions can get people to fall in love. In this video, I'm going to break down a soft kiss. This is a kiss that you can give uh, usually at the end of a first date if the date is going well. I was wiping her lipstick off for the shoot. It's like, it's something you would do for someone you cared about. Maybe you're a girlfriend or a friend, right? It's like, hey, you have something here. So it's like, it's showing her, I'm not eager for the kiss. I'm not here to take something from you. I care about more than just the kiss, okay? So it's very light. The first kiss is very, very light. Unlike the deep passionate kiss, this is just a light lip lock and I just let it go right away. I'm starting very, very slowly, okay? And I'm building very, very slowly because this is the first time I'm kissing. With soft kisses, I'm just gauging where she's at. I will open my mouth and I'll see if she matches me. In that case, I opened my mouth and she kind of matched me, but she also kind of stayed away too. So I'm not pushing too hard for this. She did close the distance there and I saw her close the distance. So then in that case, I matched her, right? So with soft kisses, it's a matter of like, what's her th compliance threshold and how do I match her compliance threshold, okay? I and I'm pushing ever so slightly, but unlike the deep kiss where I'm pushing like 50% more, here I'm just pushing about five to 10% more. And then I'm gauging what her reaction is if she's matching me that five and 10%, make sense? I paused for a second, I checked if she was okay. I took a little bit of a risk, but I nodded her head and I saw there was a little bit of acknowledgement from her, so I went for the second kiss. In this case, I pushed it a little bit deeper. A little bit longer. And she stopped. And I went for another one, and then I stopped. So I definitely pushed it a little bit more. Notice how I still maintain eye contact, though, after the kiss. And I'm slowly kinoing off of her, but I do it very, very smoothly so it feels natural. Right? I'm going down her waist and slowly letting go of my hands while maintaining eye contact. Do you see how just by looking at this, there's tension being built, right? Any two people, if you do it this way, there will be tension being built if you're having this eye contact this close up with this type of keno escalation. Okay, that was softer. You see the difference?
Show the difference? Yeah. If you like this video, if you like this tutorial, you may be thinking in your head, hey, I want to get a girl like that. I want to be able to kiss a girl like that. How do I do that, Giovanni? One of the fastest ways to be able to kiss girls and to take it further is to know how to talk to women in a comfortably attractive way. And the good news for you is I've blueprinted the step-by-steps that took me 10 years to figure out in my course, The First Date Formula. You can go to this link right here or the link in the description and you can check it out. In fact, you can download 33 lines for free Try them out for yourself with your online dating or the next time you see a girl and see if I'm full of it or if this actually works for you. Just go to highintegrityskills.com slash 33. This channel is awesome. Subscribe here. Watch another video here. Here. Subscribe here.